Alrighty guys, so today we are going to be making a terrarium that can be seen in the day and also a glow in the dark at night. And Cheyenne is going to be helping me because she's a little more better at arts and crafts than I am, but I'm going to be assisting her. So let's get started. That is so awesome. Found it at Target. So it comes with a jar and it comes with chia seeds and it comes with, I believe these are wheatgrass seeds. Yeah. This is where we can put the water. Take a drop. And then these are river stones. And then these are the potting mix. And then we have glowing sand that will glow when it's dark or at nighttime that you put outside. And here's a little, it's like a fire pit type of decoration. Uh, we'll see Franca Strands in and all the work she might want. And he got a little raccoon decoration. And I think that is it. And there's a little spray for the water bottle container. And, and here are stickers to kind of decorate the jar. And we are going to be taking the picture. So it says, get ready to grow. They are from newspaper cells to work on the aerosol. So it says, we start with our potting mix. So we're going to put it in layers, starting with the potting mix. Where do you put what? Where do you put what? We make it good. Does it really? Yeah. Okay, so layer of potty mix. Bless you. Is it just two layers of potting mix? It says layer the potty mix sand and stones as shown. For best results, do not place the sand layer over the stones. It will settle and be difficult to see. So this is after we put down the potty mix at the very bottom of the jar. Yes, and you can use whichever color you want first. So next, Cheyenne's gonna put the glowing sand in, so that way at nighttime you can see a little shimmer. So what are we making? We're making a terrarium. Yeah. Oh, 
Recording in progress. Ah. So Cheyenne is pouring in the pink glow sand. Is that what it's called? Yeah. And then she's going to do the blue one. No, I take a lot. No, walk with it. Oh, gee, because the course I didn't walk. Yeah. Yes. What is the class? Oh. Yeah, after Zoom, we'll do class. I'm making it to Raria. Okay, Cheyenne making it? She's making it with blow sand. Blowing sand. Don't shake it. So here, as after we added the glowing sand, the Cheyenne said not to shake it because it thinks it'll blend in with the potting mix and you won't be able to see the glowiness. Now what? Next, you're going to add more potting mix. The rest? Yeah. It doesn't say a specific amount, but I would assume. Or as much as you think would suffice the jar. The next are the stones. And the stones, I'm assuming, are for decoration to make it look nice, like a whitish looking stone. So, oh, that it oh, no. oh, 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 These are big. I know. I feel like they kind of dripped us a little bit. So that's all that was in there. So, pray, Jerry, pray, baby. You know so right now Cheyenne is adding our little white bubbles to the top of the potting mix. Yeah, we're making a terrarium, Christy. Here's the layers. And here are the layers after Cheyenne added the little pebbles. And then at the very top, we're going to put the seeds. Now with this, so it doesn't say like the chia, both seeds, I think, right? So the chia seeds and the wheat. Let me go do a little bit. Oh, the wheatgrass seeds, mm -hmm. is that what it is? Yeah. Water. Yeah. Is the accuracy to the pool? Yep. And now that was the last of it. So it says you can place the stickers, but be careful not to tip the jar 
or the layers will shift and mix together. So here are the stickers that came with it. And little stars and shooting stars and hearts. Should I go add water for you? Mm -hmm. um, do you like to add some water in this for me? Christopher, can you give this to Denise, please? I'm gonna put some water in there. Yeah, sure. Thank you, friends. So a step that I overlooked, it says use the mister bottle and water to dampen each layer as you go. This will help keep them in place. So by spraying the mist, it makes each mix damp so it sticks together better. Thank you, sir. These stickers are glow in the dark. That they are. And so we just filled up the little mister bottle, the little spray bottle with water. So that way we can easily squirt the inside of the jar. Okay. Just a, very damp. Oh, very damp. So you have your couple squirts. What water and 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 you have one? And it says, for the top layer, place the stones in front, leaving an area of body mix in the back for planting. Too late. <laughs> Good and then we have a straw that works. Christopher, can you bring me a straw, please, friend? Sure. Thank you. Morning, Mom. Morning, Morning, Christine. And it says, once the layers are complete, mist the top of the soil until it is very damp. Set the raccoon and campfire figures inside. Thank you. Well, we'll just wing it as best we can. Oh, in my purse. Yeah. In my wallet. No? Yeah. Well, no husband. We have to make room. Why was it there? Because you didn't read it. Well, I know that, but why was it that we didn't make room for the oh, so it doesn't grow? So as you can see in the picture, at nighttime, it'll look something like this, and the glowing sand will glow, and even the stickers will light up more so at night than during the day. We could take this on a camping trip with us to be a fun activity. What's the raccoon look, friend? It looks like a little mini wolf. 
And I think it has more. Oh, it's a box. That's like a box. No, I mean that. The sticker is a box, yeah. Um, what time are you leaving? And with these stickers, I mean, you can always buy, buy, buy more. This is the one that came in the kit, but you can always get more if you want to decorate a certain type of theme or if you just have some cute favorite stickers that you want to stick onto the jar. These are like an outdoorsy type theme, like a camping theme, looks like. I put these under the rocks so they can go through them. There's still some seeds on top, but it's whatever. Now it's the wheatgrass seeds that are going to grow, right? The chia seeds. Um. All right, now Cheyenne's adding the little decorative figurine, the raccoon and the campfire. Yes, ma'am. We learn, Olivia. What was that, friend? We learn. We're going to the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so right now, Shan's adding the things to the outside of the jar. <laughs> No, that's one. That's one. Let me one. Oh, I think one. Yeah, that one. And the more glow stickers you add, the more it'll shine up at nighttime. And I think the lid glows too, if I'm not mistaken. And on the back, some helpful hints it says is in most cases, your garden will begin to sprout in three to four days. For best results, keep your terrarium in a warm, sunny place. If your seeds are not sprouting, check to be sure the soil is damp misting as needed. Note, if your garden gets too wet or humid, you may notice some new fuzzy growth appear. This is a type of fungus called mold. Remove the lid and let your garden dry a bit. Air circulation helps remove the mold. The mold is nature's way of breaking down the seeds and plant material to create new soil and is not harmful to your health. Over time, your garden will need to be replanted. You can use any leftover materials and plant it again, or buy new seeds and soil. These are available at any garden center. And for those of you who don't know, it says, what is a terrarium? A terrarium is a miniature garden created in a artificial environment. Small plants, rocks, and garden theme accessories are often included. These gardens are planted as a fun hobby or for educational purposes. And this is how it looks after being decorated. Kind of hard to see because the sun's out right now, but Cheyenne added a bunch of stickers. She added the little raccoon and the campfire on the inside. And as it said in the hints, we have to keep it in a sunny place because the sun gives energy to the plant so it can grow. And we have to mist it using our spray bottle mister. 
but we don't want to put too much because then it will get moldy and not look as pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, that is it for my arts and crafts today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed our little terrarium creation. And you guys can buy these at Target and I believe Walmart and use it as a fun little activity and as a little education lesson.